And breaking news now at four, the homeless encampment on the state house has got to go. A judge signing with the state just a short time ago, ruling that the homeless group there has not proven that their constitutional rights have been violated. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock was in court today. He joins us now with those breaking details. Matt. Well, as you can see, the rain's really coming down here in Providence, which spells bad news for the handful of people still camped out at the state house. After Judge David Cruz upholding the eviction notice handed down by the state and Governor McKee's administration on December 7th, which in layman's terms means they've got to find somewhere else to go. After over three hours of deliberation today in Providence Superior Court, a decision was handed down about the few people still sleeping outside of the state house. The evidence before it in the court's assessment of the credibility of the witnesses, plaintiffs have not demonstrated that their rights under the first, fourth, and fourteenth amendment rights have been violated under the United States Constitution. Judge David Cruz siding with the state, who argued the First Amendment does not protect the people sleeping at the state house. We committed, of course, to work for solutions to find everyone that needs it, adequate and appropriate shelter to meet their needs, and ultimately not shelter, but housing. Only one person taking the stand today, Capitol Police Chief Joseph Little. He was questioned about state house ground policies and just how safe the state house grounds were to those living there, citing photos of feces, strong urine odor, and even hypodermic needles and one of the main exhibits used an updated use of policy signed on November 4th which states overnight use of state house grounds is prohibited the ACLU and plaintiffs releasing a statement which reads in part we are extremely disappointed in the court's decision the plaintiffs have stayed at the state house in freezing weather to make an important point and when asked what's next Next steps for us, we need to um, see what the form of order is as to, in, in that respect, as, as well as assessing who is still remaining and seeking to um, make their voices heard at the State House. And it's still unclear at this hour when exactly those at the State House will have to leave. Now, we do have multiple messages out to Governor McKee's administration to gather those answers. So this is a developing story. So stick with 12 News both on air and online for those latest developments. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.